Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to make a, a quick video here and just show you a, a new model that I just got. It's actually by um, IXO. I have a couple of their models and uh, I think they're older ones. And the quality of them is, is decent. Um, this is the limited edition series. Just wanted to show you the box so you know what it looks like. Um, but anyways, yeah, I have a couple of the other ones that are older. And quality of them is uh, is pretty good. It's decent. I mean, it's a it's more of a budget model, so um, yeah, it looks uh, it looks pretty good for the price point, like 120 bucks. You can find them. But I bought a lot of the Spark models, which I love, here, especially with the the Pink Pig uh, GT3 R over there, and you know the one I've posted a video of before. The RSR from the IMSA series, Brumos Livery. I love it. It's uh, They're great, but they're expensive. You're $250, $300. So when I saw this company release this, because uh, Spark hasn't released one um, of the RSR from IMSA in this livery. Um, I just ordered also the, um, the Spark RSR in that IBM uh, livery that they did the throwback for 2018 Petit Le Mans and it won. So I have that coming, so that should be pretty cool. But again, those are expensive. You're in the $250 range or more. So when I saw this for 120 bucks, I said, you know what? Amazing, another one from IMSA, I better grab this. Didn't know what it was gonna look like. Thought maybe it would be the same quality as the other IXOs, um, which is decent. But I have to say, guys, if you're just, you know, wanting an RSR and you don't want to spend Spark money, um, I can tell you in person, like this thing actually looks really good. And they make, um, so they make 911 and 912 in this livery from IMSA. And they have number 91 and 92, which is the Rothmans livery um, and the Pink Pig from the WEC. So at that price point, like... You can grab quite a few of these and, and you can grab two of them and you're at the price of a spark and you've got two of them. And I, I know that some of the materials like the spoiler on the back is more plastic, not metal, like on the spark. You know, if you're going to be one of the nitpickers, then yeah, you know, you're, you're probably going to find flaws, but truthfully, like I'm, I'm actually like impressed. I, I like this model. I think it's, uh, I think for the price, it's great for people on a budget that don't want to spend a lot, but they want an RSR, you got some options now. You don't have to buy Spark. You can buy this and you can get a couple of them. You want to get one from IMSA, either 911 or 912 in this livery, or you can get 91 or 92 from the WEC, um, which is really, really cool. It comes on this nice, nice base. And yeah, like the, the quality is, uh, it's really good for the price guys. You can't really beat it. So I just wanted to make a just a quick video and show it to you because there aren't really any other videos out there other than the ones by maybe CK model cars and a couple of those other ones. But it's not the same watching those as when you, you see somebody who has actually bought the car and films it like this or, you know, does it in natural daylight. Then you get to actually see, you know, the trueness of what the model actually looks like. So it's pretty awesome guys. I definitely would recommend this for the price point. You can't go wrong. You can grab a, a couple of them and you still probably are getting it for cheaper than one of the Sparks because those have also gone up in value since they were first released, obviously, right? So yeah, really, really nice guys. Definitely recommend it. And since I have the camera rolling, I know somebody said what I was missing in my collection was a Moby Dick. So I'll just bring that out quickly and show that as well. So this is by Spark, 118 scale, obviously, sealed, nothing opens, but it's um, it's also a real beauty. I got this off of somebody locally was, was selling it and uh, I grabbed it quickly before somebody else did. So yeah, it's awesome. Again, Salido is making one as well now that is uh, like really cheap. I mean, I don't know what it looks like in person. It's not going to be obviously as nice as, as the spark. But again, if you're on a budget and you want to get a 935 Moby Dick and you can't find the spark because these are like 300, 350 now on eBay, it's a good alternative. If you want the car, yeah, it's a good alternative. It's uh, it's a lot cheaper. So some of these like budget models, they're actually 
they are pretty good. I mean, if you're going to compare them and nitpick like a lot of the guys do, and you know, you're always going to find flaws. You're going to find flaws even in the expensive models. Uh, you're going to find maybe some imperfections and things wrong with it. So, but yeah, it's a real beauty. I'm happy I grabbed this. This was, uh, I was happy to, you know, add this into the collection. And I'm going to show you something else quickly that I got over COVID sitting here bored, spending money that I don't have. This is by DNA. So I have a Mark 7 GTI in white um, with the black rims like this, the Pretoria rims. So I saw that they released this and I love this car. I mean, I love the GTI, but the Club Sport S with the whole Nürburgring lap record with, uh, you know, having that record for a little over a year until the um, Civic Type R obviously did it a little bit faster because that's what these cars do. They're constantly competing to see who's the fastest around the ring. So anyways, I ordered this thing and uh, yeah, I've never had anything by DNA before. Um, I would say it's very similar to, yeah, it's like Auto or GT Spirit. Maybe in some ways a little bit uh, better uh, and more crisp and sharp when you're looking at it. So hell of a nice uh, model. Happy to have this too. Looks really, really good. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. That's all I've kind of got as of recently. Um, there are probably a couple others, but not really worth showing. These are the ones that I just wanted to give you a quick look at. So anyways, yeah, if you're a GTI fan and you like the Club Sport S and the whole lap record in the Nürburgring there in 2016 with this machine, um, yeah. It's a good one to get. If you want an RSR on a budget, you have the IMSA cars available as well as the WEC cars. Check it out. You'll find them on eBay or, you know, CK model cars, um, which is also a good place to, uh, to order from. Um, yeah. Yeah. It looks really, really good. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.